Every night I'm going to bed thinking, oh my water's gonna break. So my pants are all that fits me right now. I mean, that is just quite absurd, isn't it? Like, all very um, glamorous. It is so cold, I might keep my scarf on. I look awful. I feel like I wake up in the morning just really swollen and like tired pillow face. <laughs> I don't know if that's pregnancy or just that I am a tired pillow face basically. So here I am, I'm starting off the vlog in the salon. I thought I'd say good morning, get this vlog off to the start. It's Friday, turned 37 weeks yesterday. Here we go. Oh, you can't really see. Got a midwife appointment this afternoon, and because I think I see them like basically every week now until I give birth. And I've got a client this morning at the salon, and then I've got an afternoon off. Well, then I'll go to the midwife. Then I've got the afternoon off, which is great. I had a surprise afternoon off yesterday, which was very welcomed, as my afternoon client had to end up staying late at work, so she had to cancel. But I wasn't completely upset about that I was actually quite happy because I was able to go home and get a lot of things sorted out that I was going to leave until next week because I finished work for maternity leave tomorrow oh my god I'm so I cannot wait I'm so I'm so looking forward to it to also feel like I'm on a Christmas break as well like I can't wait to just be off for Christmas as well as be off to have this baby but I'm looking forward to next week hopefully doing some Christmassy things. We've booked to go to Hampton Court Palace to see the light. They have like a light trail. Lots of places do this now. And I was contemplating booking the one at Kew Gardens and I didn't because I thought, oh, I don't know how pregnant I'll be and all that kind of stuff. But then I kept thinking, oh, it'd be really nice to take Gabe next week and do like some Christmassy things with him. So Kew Gardens sold out ages ago, but one of my clients mentioned Hampton Court does it and she was quite sure they still had tickets and they did. So we've booked that for next week. I can't wait to finish work. I didn't think I'd say that, but I cannot wait and just exist in my house because <laughs> also it's so cold. So that's, that's the vlog off to the start. I must just say, thank you all so much for the lovely comments when I was talking about Gabe's development. Like, it's just so nice to have such a supportive community and an understanding one that, like, gets gets it. Like, it's, yeah, as I mentioned, it's one of those things that you can't really solve. You just have to take each day as it comes. And as I said, like, I do feel much better about it now than I did, like, a couple of months ago. And all we can really do is just support him as much as possible. So I, I had a couple of questions about, like, the process, like, not the process, but, like, like when I started noticing like he wasn't answering to his name and his eye contact, like what did I do? So I've spoken about health visitors before and a lot of you kind of echo the sentiments of them not always being that helpful. And with some of them, I just think, have you ever met a child? Like they can just be quite a funny group of people. I'm sure there are some really good ones, but if you've ever interacted with them, you'll, I think you know what I'm talking about because I've definitely spoken about this before. Um, when I started noticing those things, I wasn't going to really bother with the health visitor anymore because you do, they do have a two year check. But because of this, I thought, well, you know, if we need to like access the system and any support, then I probably should reach out. So I called them and said, oh, I've noticed, particularly his eye contact and not answering to his name. And they said, oh, well, this is actually, and at that point I was really worried, like, oh my God, is he autistic? They basically were like, oh, this is actually stuff that we can help you with. It may not be a cause for concern. So they do have a two-year check but the two-year check is actually at 27 months it's not 24 months so it's a bit later so his this was july and at that point his wasn't due until like november so they said we can do an early one for you and then just kind of keep an eye on things so i was like great but they did come back in july um and kind of come to our house and spend some time with him and the health visitor said then yeah i can see what you're talking about but let's just kind of keep an eye on it i did also then do a speech and language referral because i'm you can do it through your gp or your health visitor but in my borough you can also do it just as a parent and i'd heard that there was a massive way to miss because of covid so i thought i'll do a referral now so if we need one hopefully by the time we need one it will go through so we've got a follow-up check next week uh, which will be the actual two-year check and as i say we'll wait to hear back from the speech and language referral but really all we can do is kind of take it day by day as I say and we have seen a lot of progress since July so I feel quite hopeful so yeah 
that's where we're at with it um but thank you all for being so lovely today i've got hair this morning then i've got the midwife then i'm going to take gabe out i think we're going to go to one of our favorite places to the garden center basically <laughs> and look at christmas decorations because i might get some new ones and then go to the farm shop as well go and have a little bit of tea and cake together because Hayes is working this afternoon um but he's working from the house so ideally me and Gabe need to be out but it's too cold to go for a walk so I thought let's go to the garden center anyway I feel like I might be getting a cold Gabe's had one tis the season isn't it anyway I'm going to sort myself out and I'll see you in a bit oh I look a steak it's Sunday but not only is it Sunday it's my first day of maternity leave and now I'm off and I haven't had a Sunday off for weeks because I've worked most weekends which has been fine but I love a Sunday off. I'm just making some porridge for Gabe and I to have breakfast. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> anyway so yeah first official day of maternity leave I can't believe we're here and I was so looking forward to it because I feel like I didn't get a maternity leave last time because I was working part-time for Space NK and also doing hair, but it was also, we went into lockdown. So I basically went from furlough, I went on maternity leave when I was like three months pregnant. And then I just went from furlough to maternity leave, which was lovely, but I never had like, a, oh my God, I'm on maternity leave, bye everyone. It's a bit different because it's just me, like saying goodbye to myself. But it is really nice to feel like, oh my God, I'm now taking time off. However, I, I feel more so like I've just finished for Christmas break rather than finishing to have a baby. And that's also lovely as well. It's really nice to have an excuse to take some time off at this time of year. So I'm just, I was really, really looking forward to this day. So today I'm just making porridge. We're gonna eat that for breakfast and then meeting a friend for lunch, like a Christmassy pre-baby lunch um, at Megan's down in town. And then I will come back for a chilled afternoon, but it's absolutely freezing, which is lovely. It's very Christmassy, it's really misty and frosty, but very, very cold. So it's gonna be such a nice Sunday. I'm also gonna, I'm gonna leave a bit earlier before I meet my friend for lunch because I want to pop to Boots because I want to just get all of my postpartum recovery stuff that I need. Cause I just feel like every night I'm going to bed thinking, oh my water's gonna break, <laughs> which I don't think they are, but either way, I just wanna have all that stuff so that I've got it. Get all that stuff sorted, get nappies for the baby, and those kind of toiletry things that you definitely want to have should anything happen. So I've just put Gabe's porridge in his dish, in Gabe's porridge. So I've got porridge oats and then chia seeds. I then get these Ella's Kitchen apple sachets. I could stew apple myself, but who's got time for that? And then I put in a scoop of peanut butter. It's a really good way of, um, if you're weaning, it's a really good way of getting them to eat peanut butter. If you just put it on bread, they it's a bit isn't it? And so kids can sometimes be a bit like, what the hell is that? And then I also just put in some little cinnamon. So there we go, that's our, that's our porridge. If that's interesting to you. But I remember last vlog, I mentioned about the supplements I was taking and I then remembered I never actually showed you them. So I got these from Wild Nutrition. I think Wild Nutrition are worth investing in, but they are expensive. So it's totally up to you. But I have got a link and you get £15 off your first order, I think, which I'll leave below. But I'm currently taking the Food Grown Pregnancy ones. You can also take these for a year after you've had your baby. They do also do a breastfeeding and like postpartum one, I think, but breastfeeding and new mum one. So I've got like half a jar. So if I have this baby in the next couple of weeks, I'll have some left, but I can continue taking this basically for a year. And then I also take the Pure Strength Omega-3. And then I also, Hainsley takes the, the men's one. So he's got food grown daily multi-nutrient so it's just a, a male uh, multivitamin basically and they've got all sorts to pick from this isn't an ad <laughs> sounds like it is so yeah i'm just gonna take my subs and then i'm gonna go up and have a shower i'm just so happy this day is here we're ready to go um hair's done pop some makeup on feeling fresh obviously having a shower is the best thing ever isn't it um this is what i'm wearing old and other stories jumper which actually oh so i got a stain on that which actually I think shrinks in the wash. I had it in grey, 
ages ago and that really shrunk in the wash once and i'm sure this has also shrunk in the wash and i find with and other stories and cosnet wear in particular it says that you can wash it in the washing machine but every piece i've had has shrunk so and then these are just tracksuit bottoms from h&m which is seeing me through these last weeks of pregnancy <laughs> honestly like sweatpants are all that fits me right now so i'm basically living in tracky bums because there's no point buying anything else and I need stuff that keeps me warm. And I've just thought, did I tell you that I bought myself some Ugg slippers? And also some Ugg boots for my birthday. I'm sure I did, but maybe I haven't vlogged since then. I treated myself to some Ugg slippers. These are specifically to take into hospital with me because um, I had a pair of Ugg slippers and I just, I think they're so worth the money because they last forever. So I've got my Ugg slippers on and I, this is the colour espresso. So they're like a chocolate brown. I'm just going to wear my Uggs and then I've got my big mum coat. Um, I also just remembered, um, I meant to vlog more the other day, didn't I? And I didn't get round to it. So I just prop you up? So I meant to vlog in the afternoon, didn't I? The other day when I first started vlogging. Um, and I didn't. And the reason was, I was going to take Gabe to the garden centre. But we didn't end up going because he has had a cold. He had a bit of a cough. And I don't know, I don't think I've mentioned on here either. I think I've said if you follow me on Instagram, you'll you'll know that, um, well, you may not, but I put on stories ages ago. I think I've mentioned it on here. Anyway, Gabe seems to get croup um, quite easily. Like that's his illness of choice. He's had it quite a lot in his two and a half years. The last bout he got was really bad and we ended up going to A&E twice in one week. Everything was fine, but it was the it's never got that bad before so I wasn't really sure um, like how to deal with it or how much to worry and in a in a way I'm I'm glad it's happened because I feel like if that happens again I'll know exactly what to do but yes if your child has ever had croup you'll know that it's not very nice and it can go it, it can become quite serious quite quickly and then you're just a bit like oh god my poor angel I'm always then a bit cautious that anytime he gets a cold or a cough it could then go into croup and it's been so cold and it's also with all this strep a stuff floating around i just thought actually we best keep him indoors and keep him warm then go outside and have him breathe in cold air and then possibly risk him getting croup um so we didn't end up going out on friday after uh thursday thursday afternoon whenever it was friday afternoon we didn't end up going out we just stayed in and actually had quite a productive afternoon because as you can see we have a crib built. This is the snooze pod that we had for Gabe. We were very, very kindly gifted it. And that was a project for some point this week or next. But I wanted to get it up sooner rather than later. So we built that um, instead. So I was very pleased that that's been done. I also have a nappy caddy just on the bottom, which I'm gonna fill with nappies and wipes. Cause I ordered, Gabe's got his own one. He's got a gray one, so I ordered a beige one. So they've got two different colors. Uh, made a start on that and then the last thing that I want to sort is the hospital bag as I've said. If anyone's interested and wondering on what bedside crib to get, um, I can highly recommend the snooze pod, we love it. Um, and then inside I've started to just put, this is a very big muslin that's good for swaddling, my two favourite blankets. This is this is clean but it's an old muslin um, from Maury that I love. And then my auntie made a Christmas pudding hat for Gabe so I thought I might take that with me. <laughs> And then the outfits that I bought from John Lewis. Oh, have I shown you? I've shown those on Instagram. I don't know if I've shown them on here. I'll show you those later on, but I bought like a little pack of... Um... Actually, no, maybe I will show you now. I'll just get them out now. So, yes, this is a newborn pack. You can get it in other sizes, obviously, but I just thought it was so cute. We don't know what we're having, so it's green, neutral. It's two sleep suits, a bodysuit and a hat. I made sure I had a hat because I didn't have one with Gabe. There's this sleep suit, which has just got like little leaves on it. I think this might be the first outfit I put them in. A little green one that says keep growing on it. <laughs> this is newborn size. I already know it's going to be really big. And then you get a little bodysuit that says keep growing. And then a little hat. A little hat for them. I bought that pack, so I was like, I've definitely got a first outfit for them. <laughs> at the very least. Look at this little honey. Oh, that. I just, I mean, that is just quite absurd, isn't it? I feel like it looks like a fake bump, like I've just put a football up my top. Anyway, I need to get ready and get and make a move. It is absolutely freezing. Um, as you may have guessed yesterday, I, despite taking you with me and having every intention, I completely failed to vlog anything 
of either coffee with my friend or lunch with my other friend. I'll just pop you on my tripod so I can sit and chat with you and I'll show you everything that I have did buy yesterday because I did end up, I did end up picking up stuff from Next that I've ordered for the new baby that I'm gonna show you. And I also bought stuff for my hospital bag. And also show you some other new bits actually, which is mainly this uh, Monica Vinader jewelry, which I might show you first actually. If you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I am now a Monica Vinader like ambassador. So I work with the brand. They don't pay me, but they gift me. And I have a discount code for you guys to get 20% off, which I will pop in the description bar below got a few new pieces but yeah i thought i would just show you because it's holiday season so any gifting that you're doing if you're going to a christmas party or there's things that you want to put on your christmas list i'm just going to show you the bits that i've got from monica vinader because i just love them so much um so it's mostly rings i've actually got an earring well two earrings so these little hoops these huggies in that ear and then also this one so that's a that's a pair and then rings i've stocked up on rings because i feel like that's that's the biggest hole in my kind of jewelry wardrobe if you like um so i have these two this one i know is called the daya ring this is the smaller one you can get one that's a lot bigger like a lot more of a dome so this little kind of signet like pinky ring that's got what would you call that like a star or something etched into it um, but I wear that on my little finger like this. But this like very skinny bracelet, which I love. And then also these two rings. So this was the first one that I got. I've actually, I did a reel on this a while ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. But that's the first piece that I got and I love it. I also got recently with this lovely green gem. So nice, aren't they? I just feel complete now that I've got a little bit more jewellery on my hands. Although my fingers are very swollen and very exciting. Let me show you what I got for the baby. Okay, so I showed you this, didn't I? Which is the nappy caddy. I'm going to start filling that up. Um, and I had to pop to Waitrose anyway because I needed to get like some milk yesterday. So I picked up some new baby just pampers. I'm not particularly tied to any kind of nappy brand. But these were on offer. We'll probably, to be quite honest, switch to Aldi quite soon. Because... Gabe has Aldi nappies, all Sainsbury's own brand nappies actually, and they're really, really good and really cheap because nappies can be so, so expensive. And with babies, that's where you end up just wasting money on things like nappies because this is really boring. But like a jumbo packet of Pampers is like 11 quid, whereas a jumbo packet of Aldi nappies is like four pounds. So you just i just can't justify spending that on nappies and it's so funny thinking about with gabe because i was so precious about like having natty nappies and water wipe and now i'm just like aldi all the way because i don't think there's that much of a difference some people like i was having gabe some people are like oh pampers are so shit um but to be honest a nappy's a nappy there's not a huge difference between them these were on offer so this was five pound fifty in waitrose and you get 50 nappies so i just grabbed them so that we've got nappies i basically like i said i just wanted to know that we've got everything so if anything happens from now we've got all the essentials that we need and then there's a few other bits that i'd like to get tomorrow but really we don't need need anything now so i'm going to start putting this into the hospital bag maternity pads for me <laughs> disposable pants for me so all very um glamorous as you can see but these were the two things specifically that if you're going to have a baby you kind of need to know that you've got also i don't know about breastfeeding if i'm completely honest I had a really shit time with gabe and breastfeeding i don't know if any of you are following me then and followed me on instagram specifically because i spoke about it on stories quite a lot i'm not that into breastfeeding to be quite honest i was quite open to it thinking i'll give it a go but i don't really know how i feel about it um so i bought some I, and i don't know if any of you remember when we did move on to formula kendama was what we used um, and they have now launched Ready to Feed, which they didn't have when um, I was pregnant with Gabe. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to grab a load of these and just have them um, so that I've got them. You don't really feed them that much, like 30 mils of formula, I feel like, from what I can remember. Because we did Ready to Feed Hip Organic with Gabe for quite a long time um, before we then committed to going on to formula because it's just easier but yeah i'm gonna see how it goes but with gabe like he had jaundice so we had to, top, to we had to top up from day three i didn't have much milk he also had a tongue tie which wasn't picked up for six weeks like it was just a mess and that was a bad experience but just in general 
even if I did, did breastfeed, I don't know if I do it for very long. But anyway, I just thought I'd grab some milk, so we've got it. And then the really cute things. I suddenly thought it's absolutely freezing. I need something more than a sleep suit and a blanket to come home with this baby in. So I went on next and ordered this. We've got two of these from the white company that were Gabe's, but I'm quite sure the smallest size is three to six months, and that's going to be way too big for a newborn. So this is in next this is called the first size so newborn size um, and it's just one of those teddy bear kind of fleecy suits so ideal to wrap them up in to leave hospital and then also some more hats i've got one hat that came with that pack that i got from john lewis um, but then i just grabbed these which is a set of three i ordered it saturday afternoon and it was i got click and collect to store on Sunday so that was ideal got like a long shop weekend bag this is really old I've had this for years and it's just really handy that is what I'm gonna start packing at some point today oh my food's here okay slight interruption because I just ordered Leon on delivery for my lunch oh hey. hello yes Okay, sorry, the most random phone call just there. Someone wanting to talk to me about online trading. And I was just like, sorry, what? You know, like, cold callers. Are re like, I'm, I really feel sorry for, like, anyone that has that job. Because I'm sure you get some very rude people. But you know when they are just overly familiar? And you're like, what? Why are you ringing me? As if you know what company they're talking about. And, like, you're interested in what they have to tell you. And I'm like, I'm, I don't have time for this. But anyway... I was very polite, but I was a bit like, why are you ringing me? So food just came. One of my favourite things to order for lunch when I'm at home, when I'm hungry and I know I want to be full, is the Moroccan meatballs from Leon. And I believe these are actually vegan meatballs. I'm not vegan. I don't really mind eating meat. But these are delicious. And you get a little aioli garlic sauce. I could, they're just so nice. And then I do get some, what are these called? Waffle cup fries. Which is a bit naughty, but hell. I'm nine months pregnant, so if I want waffle fries, I'm going to have waffle fries, okay? So I'm just going to eat this and then come back to you. Angel's back. Back from nursery. <laughs> In his nice big coat, keeping him warm. Okay, I'm just sitting on the floor with a blanket around me. Gabe's watching. Hey, Dougie, obviously. He hasn't napped today at nursery, which is fine. Just had a little snack and we're having a little chill out and then we will have dinner. As he hasn't that, that means he'll have an early bedtime, which is fabulous. Because he actually woke up so late. Like, he had an early bedtime yesterday because he also didn't nap in the day. Because he also woke up late. And he's just been, I don't know, like, he, he has had a cold. I don't know if it's because it's colder and, and it's dark. But he's been sleeping. Like, I had to wake him up this morning. And he went to bed at 7 last night. He was, like, out like a light as soon as I put him down. And I did not hear a peep out of him all night. And at 7.30 this morning, I was like, okay, we're gonna wake up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if maybe he's still kind of fighting off the drugs of a cold or he's just feeling a bit lethargic because it's winter and he's just nice and cozy in his bed. But either way, when he sleeps later, he generally then won't really nap. But as I say, it does mean he has an early bedtime. So I'm gonna end this vlog now because it's very long and I'd like to try and get this up this evening. So are we gonna say goodbye, my sweet windy angel? There we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to put the Monica Vinader links and discount code, God, I look tired, in the description. Hope it's helpful. Thank you so much if, if you've got to the end. And I will, so I'll, I'll hopefully see you on the next one. I'm very conscious that every vlog I upload now could be the last vlog before the baby gets here. But I'm hoping to upload one for Sunday. But I'll keep you posted. If you want to know my movements or baby's movements, then head over to Instagram because I'll be posting on there, I'm sure, as soon as anything happens. Not as soon as anything happens, but as and when something happens, that, that's where you'll hear it first. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you on the next one, whenever that may be.